What's up, everybody? Sorry, I just yawned. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Meep here. Uh, as you may know, I run Arch Linux with i3, um, and I'm probably going to be switching to Wayland, uh, some sort of Wayland compositor or window manager or whatever, um, within the next year or two. Um, and the main reason why my time frame is so long is because I have an NVIDIA GPU, um, which I still don't entirely regret. I, I think it was a fine decision. Um, it's been fine on X11, um, but, um, you know, of course, if I know, if I had known that Wayland would be as big as it was going to be, I would have maybe bought an AMD GPU, but at the time they weren't that good, so I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that good of a decision, but anyway. Um, so this computer, when I built it, had an NVIDIA GPU. Um, I upgraded the NVIDIA GPU because I got it for free. It was a hand-me-down, kind of. Um, and right now I have a, a GTX, an RTX 3060. Um, so, um, yeah, I can't really upgrade to Wayland right now without like doing some weird stuff. And uh, it does theoretically work if I do the, it's kind of windy outside, sorry. It does work if I do the weird stuff, but like things are really strange and nothing's really made to work with NVIDIA on Wayland yet. Um, and I've heard some people have had some good experiences, but it's just in too weird and developmenty of a stage for it to, for, for me to hop onto it. Uh, but I do have a uh, ThinkPad T480, I think. Yeah, a ThinkPad T480. Um, that I use as my school laptop, um, and so I installed Hyperland onto there. As you may notice, I'm still using i3 right now, um, but the reason why is just because I tried out Hyperland, um, I'm gonna, uh, but I decided to update my system, um, and yeah, I'm running Hyperland, uh, probably when I, when I switch to Wayland. Um, it just seems like the most developed Wayland window manager right now, and I really don't use a desktop environment, um, I'm just not into those, uh, and, um, yeah, I don't know. When I booted up Wayland on here, it seemed really cool. Um, I don't know. I, I'm probably just biased because I know that Wayland is, like, a little better, generally. Uh, but I opened it up and it seemed snappier. Like, the animations were really interesting and refreshing for, um, a window manager, which you don't really see. And, uh, the way the, the borders around windows had, the like, gradients on them, it was just very, very cool. Um, and Hyperland seems like a lot of fun. Um, so... You know, at some point I'll probably switch to Hyperland on here when there are almost no issues. I'm okay with running X Wayland, but I've heard like Firefox can have some issues, and I've heard that uh, OBS can have some issues. I've switched to um, speaking of Firefox, I've switched back to um, LibreWolf, and if you know my history, this looks very uninteresting because there's just uh, LibreWolf's default homepage is way more dull than Firefox's default homepage. Um, but yeah, I switched to LibreWolf, as you can tell up here, um, and I don't know, it's like identical. Um, a big reason why I switched away from LibreWolf and to Brave was because I had... I noticed that non-Chromium-based browsers acted with the web a little weird, and I, ha and I was having this weird issues that I later discovered being like Canvas issues I couldn't really figure out. Um, but since I switched to Brave and then back to Firefox, I've learned a, a lot of my mistakes, and I've just seen, like, issues that, like, I know how to fix now, um, and that, in hindsight, pretty, seem pretty simple. Um, and especially, one second, I need to type in my password. Um, that, seem, that seemed pretty simple, um, and it just, it's not that much of an issue. Uh, something that also has kind of been messing me up is I've just been running straight Firefox. Um, I went to my about config settings and I changed some like privacy settings a little bit, uh, just based off of what um, a little bit of what Arkin Fox did. Uh, but that's sort of been freaking me out because I don't know what I've hardened and what I haven't hardened, and it just you know it takes a while to like manually harden a, a distribution uh, a Firefox config, and I don't want to like get the entire Arkin Fox config, and I don't want to like manually configure it on their website. So I just did. <sighs> It was a whole thing, it was kind of a stupid decision, uh, but I went back to LibreWolf because, again, I've noticed the issues that I had with it before and I know how to fix them. Um, and also, it's like hardened by default and it's as hardened as I want it to be. Um, so, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, I worked on a few modules for my Linux class today, which weren't too difficult, it was just about like container, er, containerization. 
um, with like Flatpak and Snap, which I already know about, um, and then just some virtualization stuff, uh, which I already knew about. So, um, yeah, nothing else is really going on. Then I played some Terraria. Um, I completed my elevator that separated the evil biome from the rest of the world. Then I did the other side, and then I worked on another one. I started working on another one, but the terrible, terrible, terrible thing about um, this elevator is that it directly intersects with the dungeon. And that's just so much trouble, because when you're building a elevator, you know, it, you don't really have to worry about water. You At most, you can drink like a water breathing potion and you just don't worry about it, but you can make little pockets of air that you can breathe out of pretty easily. Uh, but the thing is, is that when you're mining through a dungeon, you, I, I personally really don't want to flood the dungeon because that seems like just a big mistake. Um, so I've been basically redirecting these gigantic underground pools of water to like these other areas just up against the walls at the sides of the dungeon. And it's been terrible because these like skeleton mages you know the guys who shoot like blue flames at you through the walls um have been just like shooting stuff at me and i'm underwater and then like the cursed skulls come up and give me the cursed uh, effect so i can't use any of my items and i'm underwater so i can't like i can't like it's so crazy it's it's really it's it's honestly infuriating um, so I'm probably going to skip out on this elevator for now, and I'm probably just going to do it on the other side, because I, I really do not want to deal with making a stupid nine block wide tunnel on the side of an evil biome. Because that's probably not the most efficient way I can do it. I'm only doing it because I'm like a, like a stupid person, and I just want to like have it look nice. And I could probably easily just, just do that with dynamite or bombs, but I'm just, I'm just crazy. I don't know. Um, Terraria is a lot of fun, but man, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm giving myself a lot of work that I don't have to do. Um, and it's bothering me how insistent I am on doing it. And it bothers me how self-aware I am about it. And maybe, maybe I should just stop thinking about this. Maybe I should just go to bed. Uh, yeah. All right. See you, dude.